we're putting the bulkheads and back seat frames on the um, jig, which is in the plan, the dimensions of it, and also the height of each station and where the stations are on the jig. And uh, the deck is, I think, half inch plywood, and then I've got four straight edge materials that hold it straight. And then another good thing to do is we just have it sitting on sawhorses is to uh, plumb it up on each sawhorse so nothing's twisted. First thing we start with is the back seat frame. And basically what we're doing is this increment here and this increment here are equal so it centers the frame and the same with the bulkheads too. Will is putting on a spreader bar here for the U-shaped bulkheads and it helps keep them stabilized more. Um, the uh, the uh, chines and the shear clamps, being that they're bent over it, they push the, the bulkheads in even if they're screwed so we were putting a spreader bar on them to help stabilize them and keep them in place. And we do that on all the U-shaped ones. Centering it up with the blocks. That block is one inch thick. These cleats here and all the spreaders have to come off to get this off the jig. So before you put the sides on, you got to make sure that those are all removed or else you're going to never get this thing off the jig without tearing up the jig. We also take out the top screws on all the bulkhead stations and just leave the bottom ones in because they're easier to reach before putting on the sides. On bulkhead number one we screw the screws in differently because the stem block will get in the way of taking out the screws later on. So we go the opposite way that we did on the rest of them. The other ones we screwed in from the jig to the bulkhead We've got the stem block here and we're about ready to mount it. And what we've done is I measured over from here to here at 3 8 from there to there at 3 8 And then we, we marked a center line on the, the bow. And um, we've got this bracket that we screwed on on each bulkhead station and it's centered this way. And all we need to do is line up the center lines and then screw it in here. What we've got is 12 and 3 8 inches to the face of the first bulkhead and the very tip of the stem block. We put the bottom chines on. You have to bevel the bulkheads at the proper angle here. And we just did that with a sanding block. And that's the, the first thing you do before you put the chines on. Second thing you do is pre-drill and screw it to the stem block. And that's what we're going to do next, just so we can mark the back for the length. Putting on the bottom shine, and the first thing you want to do is secure it to the stem block with a couple of screws, and then start bending it around, and then we mark it on the back of the seat frame. We've got this bent around and uh, basically put the mark on the top and, and the bottom and then flip it over and transfer your lines like that. Then you cut it and you hold it up there again and see how it looks. Okay, we've got them cut now. 
Now they slip right in. Okay, after you get your uh, piece in, you want to pre-drill it, countersink it, and then get a screw in it. And we're all dry fitting all this stuff for you. Uh, glue it up, just make sure everything fits perfectly. We're spreading some thickened epoxy on each bulkhead where the bottom chine will be attached to. And then smeared some around the uh, stem block. Station as we go. Make sure it's plumb. Okay, what we're doing is putting the bottom on and first thing you want to do is get a straight edge like Will's got. Push it forward each corner and hold out your piece of quarter inch plywood. And what we did is we laid it down and then traced it underneath and uh, trimmed it about an eighth inch wide. And um, where it ends here, you put a mark for your butt joint. And then the butt joint is five inches wide, so we came back two and a half to this line, made a mark, put the thing on top, and just take a pencil and draw it. So what we'll do next is um, five minute epoxy the butt strap in. And then after that sets up, then we can goop this, all the surfaces up and staple the bottom on or pin nail it. We're rolling out epoxy on the bottom, on the full length. And then he's rolling the uh, parts that it will glue to. And then we're gonna go and put some thickened epoxy on top of that as well, just in case there's any gaps. Putting on the thickened epoxy. Rolled epoxy. Before you put the seat back on, you want to yank the screws that hold it into the jig. It's your last chance. <laughs> We're attaching the shirt on the stem block first. Yeah, first thing you do is you bevel the bolt heads again like you did on the bottom shine and then that's about a five degree angle cut there and then uh, we'll dry fit it at first and then uh, take it all apart and then glue it up these are the butt strap blocks that we made and they also uh, help attach the runner plank to the fuselage reinforcement. Basically you run these in between the two stringers and we marked it at uh, four inches back from the last bulkhead. And Will's holding it further back just to mark the angle correctly where that intersects on the back seat. I can help you hold it here. Will's made some blocks in between to glue the uh, side panels to. We're getting ready to glue the sides on and first I took and trimmed the seat back and took care of any other things that were sticking out and sanded them off. So we're going to pre-coat these uh, sides, we coated them once, sanded them, and we're going to coat them again before we put them on. And then we'll coat this with a thickened epoxy here. And uh, before we put the sides on, we fit them up in the stem block. One of them we had to trim a little bit to true it up, the other side was good. We're pre-coating all the parts before we assemble them just because it's easier and we're putting two coats of West System on it. Some of them are a little gummy, gumming up the sandpaper, so uh, cabinet scrapers work pretty well for those situations as long as you don't... Yeah, as long as you're not dropping them on the floor. 
we're gluing the sides on right now and we're using some three quarter by three quarter satin stock that I pre-drilled every six inches to clamp on the sides. It works pretty good. A little bit of wrestling, but uh, once you get them started, it works. Good. And we're using using uh, inch and five eighths drywall screws. We've got both sides on now, and uh, done a little puttying in some of the holes. Filled a few cracks. Everything turned out pretty good, though.